Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, this is Logan Wilson coming from Carthage, Missouri. I um, just want to do my introduction video real fast. Currently, I teach PE, health, but also been known to teach math, geography, a life skills class, or whatever else my principal decides for me to teach for this year, um, and so forth. Uh, I'm also the head junior high football coach during the fall, and during the spring, I help with varsity track. Uh, I'm blessed to be married to my beautiful wife, Jessica, for eight years. And we are, have two children, uh, my daughter Kennedy, who's five years old, going to start kindergarten this fall, hopefully, and my two-year-old son Lincoln, who you might hear in the background here in just a little bit. Um, my future, uh, in the next five years, I'm taking two career paths, possibly. One, I, do, I would either like to be the head varsity track coach for my school, uh, or I would like to take over, I work at the junior high, and I'd like to take over the junior high athletic director spot when the current athletic director retires or decides to take a different position. Uh, so those are my two different things I'm looking at right now and either one of them would be a dream job for me. Uh, my most mem memorable moment, uh, had hard to choose just one. I, I feel like I have a lot that influenced me over the years, but one that really stands out to me as a coach is when I coach junior high football, I get those kids for two years and then I see them the next year as freshmen at the football camp. And it's always one of my favorite memories is seeing those guys come back to me and we hug and we shake hands and we, we high five and uh, fist bump. And we just talk about the difference between junior high and high school and how they've developed and how they've matured. And it's, it's awesome to see them take that next step in their maturity, not only as athletes, but as young men. Um, I really enjoyed reading the letter to the principal. I thought I had some really good insights. Two things that really stood out to me. The first one is know where the mop is. I, I've always um, felt like as a leader, you have to be the first one to do some of those jobs that others don't. I think it sets the uh, sets that worth ethic, but also has a sign of humility. Like you're not afraid to do the other stuff. Uh, you need to be looking up and out as a leader. So you need to look where you're going and how you're gonna get there in your school but you can't be afraid to get your hands dirty. You can't be afraid to clean up that mess in the lunchroom when someone spills milk or the refried beans or anything else. And then also the other one that really stood out to me was go home to your family. Uh, as a principal or as an educational leader, your job's never done. There's always something that you need to get done. Um, however, those reports you have to write or, or a disciplinary referral that you need to, to do, those can wait. Um, you're not, you can't wait on your family. You, um, you won't have another opportunity to raise your child. So that's why I felt like that was really important is have quality work when you're at school, but when it's time to go, go home, go home and be, be a dad or be a husband and take time with your family. Uh, finally, the performance assessment, uh, to be honest, I'm still kind of in the brainstorming, uh, area of it. I haven't really put pen to paper yet. If I had to pick a topic today, it would probably be finding alternative to standard-based testing. Uh, we cover that, or I cover that in a couple of the other courses leading up to this one, and it was a really interesting topic to me, and I felt like it would be um, very beneficial to look into that. And uh, so that's kind of the way, the direction I'm going, and I'll probably end up doing that for my capstone or my performance assessment. Uh, hopefully you learned a little about me. Uh, I'm looking forward to working with you guys in this throughout this course. Have a great day. Bye.